Hey guys, and welcome to a requested video. Um, well, it's semi-requested. <laughs> um, basically, um, what happened was, is obviously Hiana is back with um, I'm Not Cool, which if you haven't heard, please check it out. It's really good. I, uh, I shared on my Instagram that I really love to come back. I haven't really enjoyed her music for a couple of years now, a few years. So, um, and I don't, I no longer buy her stuff, um, but I used to be a huge fan of Four Minutes. It made me very nostalgic for Four Minute. And so I shared on my Instagram, like a picture of my Four Minute collection. And then someone asked me to do a video of my Four Minute collection, which I'm not going to lie, is not a complete collection um, and would probably not take very long. But then I had this like idea so that's kind of the requested part I thought about doing a um, cube video like I did with my YG collection uh, I'm gonna do it with cube now I, I do not want to like promote cube as a company um, but uh, I have a history of cube entertainment artists I used to stand um, obviously four minute and beast back in the day um, and uh, now recently I also stand idol I um, I don't really own anything else however I then realized I could probably include a pink in this collection as well because they they used to be on a cube which is like a like a company owned under it was an independent label owned under Cube, or it used to be like A Cube, but I think they are. Hang on, let me check. Uh, they are now Play M, um, but basically, yes, they are kind of like in collaboration now with Cube. Um, so Cacao M, I'm just reading like from an album, so bear with me because I had to I had to look this up because I got confused. <laughs> uh, so Cacao M used to be Low End Entertainment. Correct me if I got that wrong, but that's what Google says. Um, and uh, yeah, so basically it got renamed and rebranded and there was a merging of two things. And they're, yes, they're on the same label, I believe, as Victon. Uh, but I don't own any Victon. So um, I just do also no longer own any B2B albums. I did used to own a few. Um, I used to own a CLC album, but I sold that. So I don't have any CLC. And I used to own like a Pentagon album, like the first one. I no longer own that. So... Um, those are groups that I I don't I'm not a huge fan of um, for one reason or another or I just don't collect them um, I do occasionally listen to their music so this will be my four minute collection going into Beast and then I guess Idol who I've just finished my com com uh, collection with which was my last video and then A Pink at the end so yes I hope that makes sense so if it doesn't then that's probably just my brain so don't worry. <laughs> um, but we will start off with the thing that I got requested for, which is four minutes. If you're not familiar with four minute, whoa, <laughs> what are you doing with your life? Four minute, one of the best, the most greatest, most iconic, wonderful girl groups in K-pop history. Um, they're the only group that I think ever came close to being as awesome as 21. They had so much potential and I used to stand them a great deal back in the day. Um, they're one of the first girl groups that I fell in love with. So, yeah. So, first up, we have uh, this, which is their full music um, album or mini album, the first mini album. Um, so, yes, back in the back in the day, it's just uh, in like a slipcase kind of thing. Um, I think there's like another edition of this, which is orange, but I just have this basic one. Pretty basic. Um, or maybe it's this one. I'm not sure. Uh, we have the first album, um, Four Minutes Left. So yes, again, just a sh shitty old jewel case. <laughs> um, and then we have Her, huh, or Hit Your Heart. So this is their second mini album, one of my favourite tracks um, in this one, for sure. It's got like a little... I used to... I was, remember when I um, first got into K-pop, I was amazed. Ah! Magnets. By how how these... Um, look at these. These are the girls. Uh, this is the four minute that I remember. Uh, this is Hyanna. Um, and uh, oh, I just used to love them. Uh, so Yam was my bias, so <laughs> I loved her. Um, but yes, we have this one, and uh, I really love this. This is one of my favourite tracks by them. Um, probably my favourite track, and maybe a popular opinion, is Volume Up. Uh, so this is their um, third mini album, Vol Volume Up, and it's on in this like really awful packaging, but it's still pretty cool. So yes, um, and then I have 
I think I have like one missing after this. So I have their fourth mini album, Name is Four Minute. Um, I really enjoyed this album as well. So yes, it comes in like a slip case kind of thing. Um, and then I think I skipped an album. I think I don't have their fifth mini album because I didn't enjoy that comeback. But they came back with this legend of a bop. If you've never heard Four Minute, I suggest you you go for this one. Crazy is like an iconic song. It's one of the best K-pop songs you'll ever hear in your life. So, uh, yes, yeah, so we have Crazy. Um, and oh, I just loved this comeback so much. So, so good. Um, and, you know, Four Minute are definitely kind of my style. I much prefer girl groups that have similar concepts to like four minute and 21 so yes very happy indeed um and then i have their last one um this is hate the um well it's called 4 4m i think or act seven i'm not sure i can't really remember but um this is like the hate era so this is before they got their um the chop from cube bastards um but uh yes i not the best packaging but it doesn't stand the best time because it's all crunked but i mean it's just well loved <laughs> I think that's the best way to kind of like share it is that it's well loved so that is my four minute collection so as you can see if this was just a well I have a little bit more because I've got my Hyanna stuff I guess uh, it wouldn't be the the longest video but uh, I spent half of it talking so um, for Hyanna I have her bubble pop and I have her melting which I keep in this plastic thing because I'm worried about like damage because it's kind of like cut out. But yes, yeah, one of my very first K-pop albums actually. So yes. Uh, and then we have A Talk. And then we have A Plus. This is the last Tiana album I ever bought. I wasn't really a huge fan. Um, I'm really pleased though that she's no longer with Cube because I think she she's a super talented human being. And I'm so glad that she's on P Nation with Dawn um i think uh i think it's great all turns out well in the end if you're if you stick to your guns so yes um and then we have um subunit so we have my troublemaker literally again if you've never heard troublemaker this is a uh, hyena from um four minute and oh my god why can't i remember his name I had to look. I literally kind of remember Hyunsung from Beast. Oh my god, my brain literally just dribbled out my ears then. So I do apologize. Um, yes, if you've never heard this, oh, I'll try if I remember just link some of these like in a playlist or something down below because it's so good. Um, and then we have the second mini album, Chemistry. Again, there was quite a lot of speculation about these two. Um, as to whether they're in a relationship or not I don't know if that's been proven but you know we definitely know that she's in a relationship with Dawn so it's all good <laughs> um, and then we go on to Beast so again I don't have everything Beast I have like a little bit of Beast but they used to be one of my favourite groups back in the day when I first got into K-pop um, so I have their second mini album Shock of a New Era again uh, despite recent events, it just should definitely not stop before at least listening to a few of their songs. So um, definitely check out Shock because that is a classic Beast song. Uh, then we have a Mastermind, which is their third mini. And their fourth mini, Lights Go On Again. Uh, we have their first full album, I believe, Fiction and Fact. Um, this is something you definitely need to check out. One of the best k-pop albums ever created i just i love this so much it's got probably my favorite beast track on here which is you um i love that song and it's also got fiction on there which like absolutely one of the best k-pop albums uh k-pop songs of all time um so yes <laughs> it's just legendary sorry i've had like a sneeze uh, next up we have uh, Beast's second album uh, this is called Hard to Love How to Love, I haven't looked at these albums for so long my good lord um, yes and it's uh, again really amazing music um, <laughs> I have Dong in um, in the front because he was my bias um, I love him, oh, I miss him um, but yes so we have that one and then we have uh their sixth mini album good luck good luck's one of my favorite beast songs for sure it's just so so good um and then we have their seventh mini album time so yes um and then obviously they left you they formed a new i think they released one more after that but i didn't get it so, i don't know because i'm lame 
Um, but yeah, they formed under Highlight and had their own company. And then, yeah, there we go. That's that. Uh, then we have uh, Idol or D Idol. So I recently just finished my Idol collection. If you saw my last video, I only owned um, this, their first album. Um, so I basically made it my mission because I love these girls. So we have their first uh, mini album, I Am, with uh, La Tata. La Tata, La Tata. Uh, sorry. And then we have I Made, their second uh, mini album. And then we have... I Trust, the third mini album, two versions this time. This is my favourite idol photo book of all time. I love Dark Concepts so much. And I think Oh My God is like my one of my, definitely one of my favourite tracks. Up there with like Lion and Han and the new one. I really love the new one so much. It's so good. Um, and then we have Dum Dee Dum Dee, which is a really very unique sound for idol. I felt like it was very different. It's, it's a really good song. Um, my friend keeps telling me it's the song of the year. He'll probably leave a comment down there telling me that it is. Um, <laughs> like his comment if you agree. <laughs> but yes, I have the day and the night version. Cube and their packaging, eh? Am I right? Am I right? Um, and then we have their most recent release, which basically just made me lose my shit. <laughs> is I Burn. So yes, I have all three versions. So that is my idol, G-Idol collection. So yes. And then we come to, I guess, just the extra bit, just to flesh this video out a little bit, because I don't have a great deal of um, stuff on Cube, like I've said. I had a bit of a moment with them, with, with the way they, you know, I'm a YG stan. If you're familiar with my channel, you'll know that I'm a YG stan. So I am very familiar with companies not treating their artists pro properly and not promoting them properly. Um, YG have a history of doing that with obviously 21 they've not done great with Blackpink although they, they are getting better and then obviously groups like Icon and Winner you know the company was just all about the Big Bang and then yeah now they're all about Blackpink and Treasure and hopefully Icon fingers crossed but anyway this is not a YG video this is a Q video um, right so for my A Pink collection we should make some space because we're probably going to need this. <laughs> um, so I have uh, Seven Springs of A Pink. I have Snow Pink. I have their first um, album, Unane or Uyane. I never know how to pronounce this one, but yes, we have that one. We have uh, Secret Garden. We have Pink Blossom. And this was the era that I became an A Pink stan. I, uh, was it 2014? Yeah. So I have been a, a fan of A Pink since then. I definitely wouldn't say I'm a panda. I'm not obsessive. Like, but they are really, I think, the only girl group that when I got into K-pop, but is still going, which makes me so sad. But they are extremely special to me and they do not get promoted enough. I really hope they have a comeback soon because they still their music is amazing. And their song last year, um, Dum Dum Ak you know the song if you don't know the song it's one of my absolute favorite songs of 2020 it is so good definitely check it out if you've not heard it so yes um then we have a pink love and pink memory there's two versions so yes i have both of those <laughs> create some space um we have pink revolution Bomi, by the way, is my bias. I love all the girls, but um, I do have gaps in my um, my collection, so yes. Um, I have Dear, the special album. And we have uh, Pink Up. Da -da -da. Percent. Again, this is one of my absolute favourite songs of A Pink as well. Oh, actually, so is this one. I have their seventh mini album, one and six. There's two versions. There's two versions of all of these, but I only have one version because I didn't think I, I don't think I could afford to buy two versions. So yes. However, when they came back last year with Look, I did buy both versions because I was so happy to have them back. And the album itself is so good. And like I said, the song is really, really, really good. Like one of my absolute, probably my all-time favorite A Pink song, for sure. So yes. Um, so <laughs> yes, we've, that's it for Korean discography. I have a couple of like solo things. I have one of Undi's um, solos. I have her first mini album. 
And then I also have uh, Ha Young's first mini album as well. Really loved her, her debut as a solo artist. It's so cute. And I just fell in love with the photo book and I was like, oh, I'm going to get that. So I did. Um, and then for, oh, we'll do the, I've got two DVDs. So I have their first concert, Pink Paradise. This is one of the most beautiful things you'll ever see in your life. It is stunning. And then I also have Pink Island. And then I also have quite a selection of Japanese singles. So, um, yeah, I'm not really sure how I've done this. I basically have, let me just, so let me just do it this way. So let me just show you my Bommy CD plates because um, we have uh, No No No. So I have Bommy CD plate there. Um, I also have two more versions. I have uh, Namju and Chorong. I'm just going to do it this way. It's easier. Um, we have Mr. Chu, so I have Bommy, and then I have uh, Namju and Chorong. I was a bit obsessive, I'm not going to lie. I really loved these girls, a great deal. Um, love, so yes, we have Namju, um, Bommy, and oh, do I not have the other ones? Where's the other ones? Oh, yes, there they are, hiding. <laughs> uh, yeah, Namju and Chorong, and then uh, we have. Brand new days. So I actually, this is the first time the CD plates were random. So I actually pulled um, Hyung. However, I do also have Bommy's CD plate and it's signed. So this is quite special to me. So we shall leave it up there. Um, and then for others, we have Sunday, Monday. This is when I was just like, I'm just going to try and get Bommy. So we have Bommy's CD plate. We have I can never remember how to pronounce this one. Summer time or something with uh, Bommy's CD plate. Bye bye, Bommy's CD plate. <laughs> uh, it's like Michigo Go or something like that uh, with Bommy's CD plate. And Orion with Bommy's CD plate. I don't know if they've had any more Japanese songs since then, but that's what I have. And we do have this other version of Love. And then I have uh, Pink Season, which is uh, their first Japanese album. And I also have Pink Doll as well, and it's Bommy's CD plate. Um, so, yes, <laughs> maybe I am a panda. I really need to get their light stick. I'd like to get their light stick and Idol's light stick. I think those are my two things. But, yes, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this collection video. Um, <laughs> I kind of feel like I've just opened myself up to any requests to do, like, JYP or... S oh my god please don't ask me to do sm that is so many albums um anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video until next time stay safe ciao